Hello everyone, it's Nana. I'm gonna be a little quiet. It's like five in the morning. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to check something quick before I go and attempt sands. Never mind then. <laughs> that was some time wasted. Oh crap, I just saw Snowden. Oops, daisies. <laughs> oh well. It's actually not skipped a dialogue and she's the right one. Yeah. <laughs> I should uh have my phone be on vibrate in case I get any messages because I have friends that are still awake. So uh, I don't know why I'm always so sniffly when I record, but it's a thing. I just like yawn and sneeze. Okay, I'm gonna use one of my legendary heroes. Your HP was maxed out. Oh, awesome. Sorry, my arrow keys on the right is wanting to be stuck again. Oh, that elevator still doesn't work. Okay. Hey. How are you doing? Finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? Hey, <laughs> boy. Today is going to be just as fun. Okay. So. Entries are always the same. <laughs> The king sized bed, macaroni art of a flower for King Dad. Still has that sweater. Ooh. The trophy, and everyone knows Nestle Champs 1998. Room under renovations.
There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Yep. Right where it belongs. Give it a little pat. Knife inside the box. Real knife. Oh no. About time! Oh no. My drawing. My bed. His bed. Hold on. I remember when I first woke up here in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom, Dad, someone help me, I called out. But nobody came. Hold on. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Nothing useful. <laughs> Eventually, the king found me crying in the garden. I explained what had happened to him. If he held me, Chara. I mean, with tears in his eyes saying, they're there, everything's going to be alright. He was so emotional. But for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. Some white fur stuck in the tree. No chocolate. That is a travesty. Stove top. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. I think the reason Flower is the way he is is because Azriel, Askor and Toriel's son, was killed trying to um because you learn about this in the neutral ending where as like they had a fallen human and the human requested to be brought back to the village where they came from and they died and they and Asriel brought back um the child but then the villagers attacked him and he died once he got back to the underground and they buried him and apparently Flowey is Asriel, but without his soul, so he can't feel anything, but he has memories of what happened. So I'm just like, okay, I unlock the chain. Good for you, independent. Uh, I don't want to gender you, because it's not known. <laughs> I don't need no man. I didn't realize I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. Believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I stood weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping he would feel something. It came too much for me. Ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Sad I found her, Chara. I found people she could make me feel whole again. Oh, dude. <laughs> she failed. <laughs> oh, Torio. And I slaughtered her. <laughs> Realize those two were useless. I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I wanted to care about someone. <coughs> Joe, you may not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence. You know what? I succeeded. As I felt this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... Then primal started to burn inside me. No, I thought. I don't want to die. Then I woke up like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden, back at my safe point. 
Chris I said I had to experiment again and again. I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point I would let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, Chara? I was amazed too. Okay. So I think he can turn back time. I can't sing like Cher, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, excuse me, at first I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing for a while. As time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Do you know the answer? That's it. That's all they are. I'll start because I was curious, curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. <laughs> what an excuse. All people must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least they're better than those sickos that stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people that want to see it but are too weak to do it themselves. But someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? Ooh. Nowadays, even that's grown tiring. You understand, Shara. You've done everything in this world. So I'll offer you read every book. I've burned every book. I've won every game. I've lost every game. I've appeased one. I've killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue. I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you, Chara. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you, then steal your soul. I failed. I tried to load my save file. It didn't work, Chara. Your determination somehow is even greater than mine. I just have one question for you, Chara. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left and decided to give you a proper burial rather than hanging out in the basement forever. But why then? What made you weep? Hold on. The star plays are as eels. Meet Flowey. You got out of the ruins. Would Char have been buried somewhere else outside of the ruins, perhaps? I don't know. Why did you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? Doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this, Chara. I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower, Chara. Just one thing left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then let's let them see what humanity is really like. That, despite it all, this rope is still kill or be killed. Uh huh. Then, well, I have been entertaining a few ways to use that power. <laughs> Seeing you here changed my mind, Shara. I think if you're around just living, the surface world doesn't seem so bad. You don't need to leave to get them this time. The king has six of them locked away. I've tried hundreds of times to get him to show me them, but he just won't. Chara, I know he'll do it for you. <laughs> Am I telling you all this, Chara? I said it before. And after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. He won't give me any worthless pity. Teachers like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's so that's 
Why? Ha ha. What's this feeling? Why am I shaking? Hey, Chara, know her feelings about back then, right? the music that played before you fought Papyrus. Hey, what are you doing? Back <laughs> What? I've changed my mind about all this. This isn't a good idea anymore. You, you should go back, Chara. Place is fine the way it is. Stop making that creepy face. This isn't funny. You've got a sick sense of humor. Were you about to kill Flowey? Oh, I know that place. <laughs> so we're here. Oh. Oh my god, I have to kill so Okay. This is my very first attempt at Sands and Oh, I need to get rid of the burnt pan. <sighs> oh god, that should be fun. <laughs> I'm going to be stuck on him for weeks, I have a feeling. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey, uh, you've been busy, huh? So I've got a question for you. Do you think even the worst person can change? That everybody can be a good person if they just try? <laughs> a better question. Do you want to have a bad time? Oh god. Uh, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> see how far I can get. Because if you take another step forward, you are really not going to like what happens next. Well, well, sorry old lady, this is why I never make promises. Oh god! I'm gonna get destroyed. I've, I've seen people try and kill him so many times, but I still don't know. Like the beginning bit. <laughs> It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Days like these, kids like you should be murdered in hell. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Oh my god. I was wondering why people in the movies are strongest. Well, considering I'm... I think so! Oh no... We better dry... Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh god, what? You think I'm just gonna stand there and take it? Yeah? Ooh. This is no good. <laughs> Our report showed a massive anomaly in the time space continuum. Timelines jumping left and right, stopping and starting. <laughs> yeah. I think once I get the rhythm down, it won't be too bad. But it took me a really long time with Undyne. So let's try this again. <laughs> I really.
really love the scenery on this one. Hey, uh, you look frustrated about something. Guess I'm pretty good at my job, huh? <laughs> A little bit. Oh my god, I have to s Oh. <laughs> okay. Wrecked. <laughs> Okay. I can do this. This is gonna take a really long time. <laughs> Add expression. I wish for someone who's died twice in a row. Supposed to say you really look unsatisfied. Alright, how about we make it a third? And a sixteenth. <laughs> okay. No. It's a nice day out, why not relax and take a load off? Uh Okay. Ah, <laughs> this is not going good. Oops. I think it's a good time to, um, not do this. <laughs> it's... Yeah. I, I'm gonna just... Bye. <laughs>